Microsoft has recently released Teams templates. This feature has just rolled out, and if you don't have it, you should soon. Today we're going to cover two topics, how to use templates in Teams, and how to create custom templates for your organization to use. If you can create a team, you can also use templates. To create a team based around a template, start by creating a brand new team. Select the Join or Create Team option, then Create Team. Microsoft has provided several templates that everyone can use. Each template comes with a set of predefined channels, tabs, and integrated applications. There are many templates already available, and we're excited to see what other templates Microsoft releases. We're going to use the Manage a Project template as an example. Just select the template you want to use. You'll see the channels that will come with the team, as well as the apps that come pre-installed. Select Start. You'll have to choose between making this team private or public. As a reminder, private teams only include specific users, and users will have to be invited or approved to join. A public team allows anyone in your company to join that team. Give your team a name and a description, then select Create. The team will begin to be created. Teams will first create the team, and then over a short period of time, add the templated parts. Select Close. You can see the team here, but the channels, tabs, and applications haven't yet been added. It's going to take some time, so don't panic. You'll receive a notification once the team template portions have been added. The team based around a template has just been created. The channels, tabs, and apps have been added as well. By default, the predefined channels will be hidden, but you can always select Show on them to make them visible inside of your team's view. When we use a team's template, the channels, tabs, and apps are added for us, but we have to set up those apps. Just navigate to the app to set it up, and select Setup tab. You'll have to add your custom information, like a notebook title, a website URL, or other information. The templates make it easy for you and your colleagues to have consistently set up teams. Now that the team is set up, we can start to add users and begin using our collaborative space. Now that we know how to use Teams templates, let's see how to create templates for our company. Before we do that, we'd like to announce our learning offering. If you've made it this far into the video, you take your learning seriously. We're releasing two new products to help you master Office 365 and other platforms. They're called the Learner's Lounge and our Learning Portal. The Learner's Lounge will be run through Patreon, where you'll be able to choose between three packages. We'll be running live webinars on the most important topics to help you master collaborative and productivity applications. In these webinars, you can get real-time question answering and access to any and all webinars we've previously hosted. If you choose the best package, you'll also get access to our learning portal. Our learning portal has over 70 courses, with over 1,500 videos on all the Office 365 and Office applications. Work at your own pace and uplift your skills. If you don't want the live webinars, you can also just purchase access to our over 70 courses for a low monthly fee. Check out the description below for links and more information. To create a Teams template, you'll have to be an Office 365 administrator. These templates will be usable by those in your company. Start from the Teams admin console, head to the Teams section, then Teams templates. Here are the templates that Microsoft provides. To create a new one, select the Add button. You can create a brand new template, use an existing team as a template, or start from one that Microsoft provides. We'll start from blank in this demo. Select Next. We'll give our template a name that everyone using it will be able to recognize. We can give both a short form description and a long description here. You can also change up your language here for this template. Then select Next. Now we have to start to add channels we want available within that team template. By default, you'll always have your general channel. To add a channel that will be created when someone uses this template, select Add. This will be the Meetings channel where we'll host both our meetings, the notes, 
and any discovery items. Add the name to your channel template as well as add a description below. The shown by default template option when enabled will make the channel shown in the channel list, not hidden. While creating this channel, you can add an app for this templated channel. A good app to have in your meetings channel would be a OneNote notebook where everyone can take collaborative notes. Enter OneNote into the search bar and then select add. You can continually add apps to this templated channel by repeating that process. You can also rename the tabs of your apps by selecting the pencil icon on that tab. Just remember to select the check mark next to the name field to confirm that tab name. Once you're finished customizing that channel, select apply. You'll see it appear within your channels list, which will also give you a summary of that templated channel. We'll add another channel, the deliverables channel. Select add, where you need to add the name, description, and decide if you want it shown by default or not. For this example, I'll also add a planner tab where we can distribute tasks to one another. Select the add an app field and search for planner. Then I'll select add. I'll change the name and confirm that tab name. You can have multiple tabs added to a channel just by searching and selecting add. I'll select apply. Our template will now have three default channels with two custom tabs and apps for my whole company to be able to use. You can edit or delete a channel in this template just by selecting it and then by selecting edit or delete. Once your template is complete, select submit. You'll be brought back to the team's templates page and you can manage any template within your organization just by accessing them and then modifying them. Now, when you or someone from your company creates a team, that template that you created will be available for people to use. Remember, you must be an Office 365 administrator to be able to create and modify existing Teams templates, and no one outside of your organization will be able to see those templates. Teams templates offers a great way to organize your team structure and make setting them up for your projects, clients, and programs easy. Let us know in the comments what kind of templates you're planning on creating, or any ideas you have about them. We'd love to hear your ideas, and are always looking for feedback on the kinds of videos that you'd specifically like to see. Who knows, maybe we'll make one specifically for you. We hope you enjoyed this video, and remember to like, subscribe, and check out our additional training offerings in the description below.